Hello and welcome. I go by Disp and I would first like to thank you for clicking on the video conference section of Mine Firewall's Dragon of the King's Guide for the Carnival PVM teaching and learning section on the website. And although some of you might think, why do you need to learn Dragon of Kings? They're a very mid-tier boss, and that is true, but they have got a lot going for them if you can kill them efficiently. They've got three unique pet drops, the most of any individual boss in the game. Yes, I'm grouping them together, but don't quote me on that. They have some really profitable drops that are consistent. So if you've completed the Fremi Tier 4 and you have the Fremi Sea Boots 4, which I'm wearing here, you'll be able to automatically note the Dagonov King bones, which you can sell for about six to 7,000 GP each, which does up over time to about another extra million profit per hour. Also, they have additional profit that can be gained from water talismans and earth talismans, which always seem to go up during double XP weekend, especially the water talismans, with hit almost 25k per talisman, and they can drop those in up to 70 at a time, roughly, which is a significantly expensive drop. Now, I will say the drops are good, but we all know that you're only there for the pets, and that's why we're going for the fastest rotation. So we'll start off with something that's a little bit of a lower to mid tier. If you want to kill them successfully on the slow, medium, fast kind of spawn rates, you're going to want to have tier 80s. Um, and they're okay, but you're going to want to have some kind of hybrid armor to go along with them because you're attacking in all three styles and it does become a little bit fiddly and a little bit annoying to be constantly changing armor. So I've got the Zamrak War Priest here, but you can go for any War Priest that effectively has the uh, set bonus where it can drain damage taken because that really does help you. Moreover, if you do want to go for the try hard method and get another 10 to 20 kills now whilst in a Slayer task, you can use all tier 90s um, and swap between power armors. Obviously, if you don't want sort of team power armors, using tier 90s will definitely increase your kills throughout. But it's all about how you DPS and conserve your adrenaline to the next kin and the next star that they may have. Okay, so where are they? Where are they located? They're located in Waterbirth Island. You have three ways of getting them. The first and easiest one, if you're Max, is to retune this portal here from Nex, in my case, Dagon of Kings. The second way is to teleport to Waterbirth. Now, I really wouldn't recommend this because it does require Lunar Magic, and obviously if you're on Lunar Magic, you don't have offensive prayers. You can't have a friend teleport you to Lunar, but that's one of those things that really isn't that easy to do these days. However, the easiest consistent way, if you're not managed to get there, is to go on your home teleports and quick teleport to Fremlick Province. When we're there, I'm gonna show you how to get to the Dagon of Kings. A few moments later. Okay, so we are now at the Fremnet Province Lodestone and we are going to run all the way to the most westerly dock to go to Waterbirth Island. Whilst I do that, I am going to tell you some other methods that you could use to get there. Uh, you could use a modified house teleport tab if you've completed the love story quest, which will take you to the POH portal just south of Renica. Um, and alternatively, you can use your free liar teleport if you've got Fremnet Sea Boots. I think it's the hard or elite version, give you one free teleport a day. Um, I'm lazy, I can't bother to carry all of that stuff, so if you're not Max, this is the way that I personally would go. We're now going to travel to Waterbirth, and I will update you when we get there. in the tunnels there's only one place where we can go wrong so if you climb down the ladder to the east and then you're going to climb up the ladder to the east in the next room be careful these have fairly annoying play boxes but you'll get there eventually so we run straight and then we run south from here this is the only place you can go wrong don't go up that ladder go straight down this one which is in the far west of the room and then from now it's plain sailing because there's only one route of ladder. And we're going to come to one final ladder, which is the entrance to Dagon of Kings. So we're not going to go straight in. We're going to run past ladders, this one here. You can have a look and see if there's anyone in the ladder before you go in on Old School and uh, RS3. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to hide back in. And you can see there's a custom session ladder. That will work from roughly where that Dagonoth is now. So we're going to start a boss instance as if we would for any other boss. And now we're going to get into the killing. But that will be in the next part of this guide. So I hope you now know how to get there and the motivation behind killing TKs. If you have any other questions, just leave either me or Firewall or a reply on the thread and we'll get back to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.